resources, and there are lots of resources, and there's plenty. There's plenty for us if we just use it. And the, and the world is needing beef and fuel and all these things, and one of the reasons why our beef is short is because we're not using this land. The other is like uh, Argentina and uh, uh, Brazil, these co countries that produce a lot of beef. We have countries now like China that can afford beef. And so they sell uh, that beef going to China instead of uh, to America. So our supply is not as is, is import supply is falling away. We need to start producing. We need to produce beef on this land for you, the people. That's right. Well, finally, in your gut, do you feel like this was a really big historical event and an example and a blueprint of Americans stopping their endless retreat from government bureaucracy and kleptocratic foreign offshore corporations that have hijacked the nation? I feel like that those people that stood on that line against the United States guns it has to be historic. It has to be uh, a point where we're saying no more. No more in America will we put up with this type of action. Well said. Well, I tell you, it's been um, Joel Skousen, who lives out near your area, who's been predicting that the first resistance to Agenda 21 physically will be communities that break away uh, in Nevada, in Utah, and areas of Colorado, in Idaho and other areas, he's been predicting that that's got the people in it uh, that'll be the first to resist. And that's why there's a big exodus to Montana and to Wyoming and other areas of people uh, fleeing the collapsing cities uh, and, the, and just the evil. Well, Mr. Bundy, thank you so much for all your time. We'll get more updates as this unfolds. And we're watching your back and you watch, you watch ours. But God bless you. And we salute your... You're, you're, you're bona fide, real, true grit, sir. And, and thank you, America. You, you're the greatest people, not only, you know, as individuals, you're great. And there's a, people across this world, we're all great in God's eyes. Bless you, and thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, sir. There goes Mr. Bundy. And there's no fault with this man. And as a libertarian, you can't be what I call a uh, cafeteria libertarian, where you just pick and choose if you're a constitutionalist. And I guess I just have more knowledge than a lot of people. I'm not bragging. It just freaks me out. I want to believe that people like Scarborough and, and Glenn Beck and George Soros and Media Matters and CNN and Rachel Maddow and Salon and all the groups attacking me. Because they know we've started the story, Drudge carried it. They don't like Drudge, they don't like us. Because we're real libertarians. They don't like World End Daily because they're real. I mean, we really want to beat the New World Order. I mean, we really do want freedom. And, you know, I, I didn't want there to be a war starting. I didn't want there to be a shootout. I was on the edge of my seat watching all this unfold and reporting here from Austin. I had no idea it would get this crazy. And then when it didn't happen and, and we had this victory, I really savored it and knew how important it was. And then I watched all the talking heads belittle it and say it wasn't a victory. The feds are coming back, blah, blah. Of course they're coming back. The point is we kicked their butt. George Washington kicked the Hessians' butts at Trenton. And it didn't mean he didn't lose a bunch of other battles. He had a fighting spirit. It's the fighting spirit and knowing we're in the right and not letting the system always tell us we're in the wrong that is going to give us the moral high ground. And we're going to win. But they bought off all the big churches. You go to these churches, I don't care what, what they are here in Austin, these big ones, I've been to a bunch. You're going to get a government-loving sermon. You're going to get do-what-the-system-says sermon. You're going to get follow the rules, follow the law. When they fix the voting, we all know that. I don't want to hear your Romans 13 out of context, or, or I want to hear Hitler was good, and Stalin was good, and Genghis Khan was good. You know they weren't. I want to hear that Moses should have done what Pharaoh said. He was the government of God. No, he wasn't. The whole Bible is about standing up and resisting tyrants and being enslaved and killed, but then the next generation winning and persevering. And I go listen to these preachers, and they are a bunch of corporate whores who just want a big mega church and a mansion with their trophy wives, they are devils. I go to these big churches, I can look at them, and they are devils. And they look at me, and they they know, and they don't like it. Because they're there to keep 
people that are looking for God down. They're there to keep people that are looking for freedom down, thinking they found it with them. They're a fake facade. And I just pray those facades are torn down, and they are going to be torn down. And Lord knows I'm not perfect, but I try to be a good man. And I ask God to lift up InfoWars, as God's already done, and to empower me to be a stronger, better person, and then I'll take whatever the consequences are, God, but I want to be used as a weapon against the New World Order. I, I just absolutely turn myself over to, to, to be a good man, and I, and I want to do what's right, and I just give my will over to God. And if you do that, folks, you will want to oppose these people. It'll burn in your bones. If your preacher isn't calling for an end to the New World Order, isn't calling for an end to abortion, it's just some glitter bug up there making you feel good and telling you you're special because you got Jesus and you, you, you know, you're good and everybody else is a devil, that's a big fat devil sitting up there in the pulpit. And they're the biggest reason this country and the world's going to hell in the handbasket. Put the sunglasses on and see the devil in the pulpit. With the globe. And its collection agency, the IRS, uh, we have a big IRS insider here at one of the main IRS facilities in the country. They're looking at furloughing most of their employees they already have. Uh, and they're saying they're seeing around half the tax returns come in so far they've ever seen. And it just looks like people aren't going to file taxes. And they're trying to go directly to, of course, digital, so you have no choice, but that won't matter. I mean, people, when they know there's a lawless government, they stop going along with it. They stop working with it. And that's what you're going to see happen. And of course, the globalists are ready for that. That's why they want to collapse society. Uh, they know that tyranny collapses society. So they said, that's fine. We'll just call it Agenda 21 and codify it into a system that we're exempt from. Here's some of the headlines up on InfoWars.com. FBI will have up to one third of Americans on biometric databases by next year. The new Google contacts that are coming out have built-in cameras. Told you that was coming, and there you go. Civil war looms in Ukraine. Very important report. And we've got feds desperate to hide Harry Reid's link to Bundy land grab. That's right. Uh, so they can say that there's no such thing. It's listed in there as part of the energy deal with the Chinese and Harry Reid. Bundy's listed. But they want to say conspiracy theory. Sorry, can't do it. Notice how that's the default hoax event. And now they've got Scarborough going, even conservative right-wing people are, are against Bundy. Everybody's against him. And, well, he's stealing, and you, and you got to follow the law in America, blah, blah, blah. What if he was breaking a law, which he's actually in the law, right? When the government's totally criminal, it, gonna, uh, they could pass a law tomorrow saying you got to chop your legs off. You going to do it? Federal courts have ruled black people aren't humans. We later recognized that was wrong. Federal court ruled Obamacare is a wonderful thing. You like it? Paying taxes to foreign banks? I mean, what a screw job. Supreme Court said, hey, they can exempt anybody they like and make you pay it. Totally discriminatory, on its face illegal. We say it's legal. Well, you can take your Supreme Court ruling, you can cram it in the trash can. You can fly a kite. You can jump in a lake or a cliff. Whatever you like, we're done, okay? We know a bunch of crooks when we see them. You can run around yelling racism all day. That doesn't work on people anymore. Oh, boy. Briefly, um, <clears throat> we're going to come back with Joe Bannister and a bunch of other geopolitical news that's breaking on Infowars.com, PrisonBunna.com, Real Alex Jones. Follow us on Twitter. RoadReport.com has a bunch of crazy news on it. Ebola spreading into major cities in Africa for the first time. Major Magazine comes out with what to do when D.C.'s nuked. Uh, I mean, it's just totally crazy. We're going to be getting into that. Ukraine on the brink. Military recaptures Eastern Airport. Pushes tanks towards Flashpoint City. Fragile Europe weakens U.S. push for sanctions. Reuters calls it the beginnings of civil war. I mean, this is just cuckoo land. I told you all that was serious. Oh, Alex, it's not that bad in Ukraine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Brzezinski's book says that's where they're going to start World War III. And guess who's running things right now? Briefly, if you believe in these powerful transmissions, the nightly news is subscription, but then we put it out for everybody the next day free. So you're, you're funding hardcore information warfare. 
Get a 15 cent a day membership right now at PrisonPlanet.tv, $5.95 a month, or get a yearly membership, get three months free, and you can share it with up to 11 of your friends. Join the revolution today, PrisonPlanet.tv, PrisonPlanet.tv, don't wait. We need your support. This is a key information warfare platform. This we need your help. PCN. Third hour PCN. coming up, stay with us. Radio Network. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine if you're sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products, and get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip.